and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. Uh -huh. And what thou seest. So he said, what you see, because John turned around when he heard the voice, and he seen a man, and Jesus was speaking to him. He said, what you see, do what? Right in a book. Do what? Right in a book. You know what the book is that he wrote it down in? The Bible. The Bible, the word Bible just means records. It's the records of your forefathers. We weren't texting back then. Back in those days, you had to write everything down so you could do what? Pass it to your kids so they knew how to live in this world. Nowadays, our kids don't know how to live in this world because why, sis? What are we separated from? We separated from this. The Christian church ain't teaching us the truth about the Bible. If the black man walk around sagging his pants, what do you think the white man gonna start doing? Sagging his pants. Have you ever seen a white boy with dreadlocks? Ah, oh, I gotta keep bringing that up because that's the funniest thing in the world. I saw a white boy with dreadlocks. We can't have nothing, sis. What the hell is a white boy doing with dreadlocks and their hair don't even kick up like ours do? Your hair is different. Your hair is the only hair that grows up. Give me that about Christ. Revelation 1 and verse 1. Because Jesus Christ, you, what, uh, what year is it right now? You know that that year is literally de dictated off the man, after the man known as Jesus Christ? Did you know that? You got B.C. before Christ, A.D. That's what it's literally after because why? Jesus Christ was the most famous man that ever walked the earth. That's right. He did miracles in front of people. He got slaughtered and, and, and beaten and hung on the cross. You know who, they, who else they was hanging on crosses? Your ancestors. Because it, it ain't nothing new. They've been killing us. They, been, they hung us on trees, but they hung us on crosses back over there, and now they hung us on trees over here. Your ancestors went through a lot, sis, just for you to turn around and rock that blind hair. Imagine, they rolling off in the grave right now, ready to jump on your back about that. You gotta get back to your woolly hair, cause that's what God has. Watch that's this read. Revelation chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Of who? Jesus Christ. So the word revelation, the root word of revelation is revealed. So we about to get the revealing of Jesus Christ, read. Which God gave unto him. Verse 10. Verse 10. I was, in, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. You know what the Lord's day is, sis? It's Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the seventh day of the week. That's the seventh day that God said to keep holy. So he, John said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Read. And heard behind me a great voice. He heard a voice behind him. So John was in prison and he heard a voice behind him. If you hear something behind you, what you usually do? You turn around, right? Watch what happens. As a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. Uh -huh. And what thou seest. So he said, what you see? Because John turned around when he heard the voice. And he seen a man. And Jesus was speaking to him. He said, what you see, do what? Right in a book. Do what? Right in a book. You know what the book is that he wrote it down in? The Bible. The Bible, the word Bible just means records. It's the records of your forefathers. We weren't texting back then. Back in those days, you had to write everything down so you could do what? Pass it to your kids so they knew how to live in this world. Nowadays, our kids don't know how to live in this world because why, sis? What are we separated from? We separated from this. The Christian church ain't teaching us the truth about the Bible. Read. Verse 14. Yep. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wolves. Stay with me, sister. This is very important. You're reading about the revelation of Jesus I gotta, Christ. I got to leave. All right, this last one. So it says his what? Head and his hairs were white like wool. Well, his head and his hairs were white like wool. What's the texture of wool like? Um, like thick. Right? Nappy, kinky, yeah. thick. Like what? Look at, uh, look at my brother over here with the dreads. Look at him on top of his hair right there. With the stuff that's really on your head. That's what wool is. Jesus Christ, the greatest man that ever walked the earth, had what? Hair was white like wool. Had woolly hair. That's white as snow. But it was it was real white. And you ever seen an old black man with woolly gray hair? And it's real gray. It almost looked white like the old hairs. You ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the image that Jesus Christ looked like. Read. And his eyes was a flame of fire. And he had red eyes. He had red eyes because he drunk wine. That's the first miracle he did. So when the, when you drink wine, it like the red your, I mean the white of your eyes turn red. Read. And his feet. And his what? Feet. So when John took around, he looked at him from toe to foot, like how we do now. What's the first thing you look at when you look at somebody? You look at their shoes and you want to talk about it. So John looked down and he looked at his feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And he saw Jesus. And Jesus' feet was like unto fine brass. You know what color brass is? It's brown. 
Brown is just a derivative of brass, is just a derivative of brown, like a penny, like copper. So he saw Christ's feet, and they were brown, read, as if they burned in the furnace, and they looked like they burned in the furnace. They were brown as if they. Hey, my sister, can these kids come over here and look at these images just for one second? Just for one second, sis. Just one second. That's just read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice was the sound of many waters. So he had a very loud voice when he spoke. So what we're trying to do is show you that Jesus Christ was a black man that had woolly hair. Represents your hair. Don't be ashamed to be you. That's who you really are. You look more crazy when you put all that other stuff on. You got sisters walking around getting these butt shots look like ants. Look crazy as hell. Just be you. Because the thing about it is always somebody that's going to like you. And man, you see Negroes out here uh, uh, screw anything and marry anything too. That's right. You ain't no ugly sister. You don't got to be ashamed of your hair. Rock that thing. Because now the thing was beautiful in a woman is being proud of what she is. That's right. Don't envy your oppressors and want to be like them. Because when you wear that hair, all I think is like, man, she probably like white people more than she like her own damn people. Because if you love your own people, once you want to look like your people, bring it out. Keep it a buck with you. You would want to look like your people. But you rock the blind hair, it's like, man, she want to be like them when she want to be like her own. Yeah. And go to Leviticus 19 and 17. Because why? We hate each other. Bring it out. That's why it's so easy for us to speak against each other and to kill each other. Because we ain't teaching the truth to each other. And the thing about it is we tell the truth to so give me Amos 5 and 10. When we come out here and tell the truth to our people, the first thing we want to do is hate each other for telling the truth. You know why? Because the Bible said God children love lies. Everything is going to be all right. No, it ain't. Christ about to come back and kill a lot of people. Bring it out. Judgment is about to come to the earth. There's going to be a lot of bombs dropped on America and a lot of people going to die. You know why a lot of people going to die? To celebrate Easter, to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate Thanksgiving. God is going to kill a lot of people because of it. Because what y'all don't understand is idolatry. When our forefathers knew we was Israelites, we wasn't running around looking for Easter eggs. That's we right. were running around looking for the kingdom of heaven. Right now. And nowadays, we raise our children up to follow behind idolatry. And the most high looking down on it, like, why you hate me so much after everything I gave you? I gave you life, I gave you eyesight, and you know how you thank me? You gonna give all your praise to an Easter bunny. Bring it out. And the most high looking down on this, and what you think God gonna do? He gonna judge you about it. It's gonna be a judgment about it. Let me get that, uh, read that. The book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 10. Uh -huh. They hate him that rebuke him in the gate. So when you see people come against us, it ain't nothing new. They did it to all the prophets. When you read the prophets, all the prophets got killed by their own people. Bring it out. Look at what happened with Jesus. Jesus Christ did miracles. And you know what the people said? Crucify him. Wait, he just healed the blind man. Kill him. Kill him. Wait, free the robber. Free the murderer. Free Pookie that just killed three people. But take the niggas that's trying to go to college. Kill them niggas. That's the mindset of our people. When you're trying to do the right thing, you die about it. But when you do the wrong thing, everything is all good. When you teach lies, everything is good. But when you tell the truth, you gotta die about it. But what our people don't understand is we willing to. We willing to die behind the words that come in this book. We ain't running and ducking for nothing. Bring it out. Give me that in Matthew. So we out here showing y'all our people. We hate them that rebuke it in the gate. Soon as you come and tell the black woman, black woman, get it together. Stop hating your black brothers. Let's come back together and be a family, be a nation. Oh, nigga, get out of here. Get off the block. I'm trying to listen to little baby. Oh, man, we destroyed. The Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I don't got to walk down the street worrying about the white man killing me. It's my own damn people. It's our own people killing us in our own community. How you got black men out here telling the truth, trying to bring forth change in the community, and you telling the kids to stay away? Why? When we want to raise them up to be little BDs and little GDs, let's keep the cycle going. Little Mo, little Mo, let's, let's keep the cycle going. You got little three-year-old girls twerking, shaking their butts in the middle of the street, and we clapping. But as soon as you pop her little ass, now you wrong. You got little black boys running around with BB guns talking about gang, gang. And as soon as you pop his little ass, you're wrong. So what we gonna do, continue the same cycle that we've been doing? It ain't worked for the last 400 years. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 